So things are getting just a little bit weird right now. Obviously, there's been a lot of really nice and peaceful protests going on everywhere. There has been for hundreds of days. It's been lovely. Everybody's got flowers in their hair. It's wonderful. They're so peaceful and lovely that a TV channel in Denver decided to hire a security detail so they'd be safe filming the right to <clears throat> Sorry, protests. I mean, that's perfectly normal. You need security when everything is so peaceful, right? So the crew go down to the protest, which also includes a Patriots rally. You know, normal people sick of stick-thin little soy boys LARPing as terrorists. So the TV crew starts to film the Patriots rally, and the security, for whatever, starts to get into the Trump supporters' faces. Here's some dude begging to be maced. The Trump supporters look perfectly peaceful and chilled. This guy's just just going insane. Show me that. Show me, motherfucker. Show me that, nigga. Who fucking touch me? Touch me one more time, you gonna get it. Next person to fucking touch me, right? Mace me. Fucking mace me, bud. Walk up to me and fucking mace me, nigga. Mace me, motherfucker. Mace me, motherfucker. I got my feet on my ground. Fucking mace me. Go ahead and fucking mace me. Go ahead and fucking mace me, nigga. Don't touch me, old man. Don't fucking touch me, old man. Don't fucking touch me, man. Don't fucking touch me. Fuck around and find out. Fuck around and find out. Fucking tough guy. You got a knife at the time. You say fucking tough. Fuck around and find out. And as you saw right at the end of that shot, we see the Antifa security guard execute somebody. But why did he do that? Because the security guard got in the guy's face and tried to steal his pepper spray or whatever it is and got slapped. So because he felt like a little bitch, which he is, he just shot him in the head. No threat to his life. Pepper spray can't kill you. So there's no justification for doing what he did. He and the cameraman were arrested and the cameraman was released shortly after. So that's pretty fucked up, isn't it? But it gets better. Turns out Matthew Robert Doloff, his name is very much a far-left activist and Antifa supporter at the very least, if not a member. Here he is attending protests to, like, Occupy Wall Street in Denver, and his social media certainly shows he is very much a radicalised potential terrorist. So that's all very good, James, I hear you say, but there's thousands of people on Twitter saying, Duh, this is nothing to do with Antifa. The right-wing Nazis have lost their mind. So where's the proof of that? Oh, I don't know. The fact he has Antifa in his bio on Twitter. But as Joe Biden says, it's just an idea. An idea that shoots people in the head and sets cities ablaze. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks, bye.